a welterweight matchup between Jorge Masvidal and Tony Ferguson. All right, so here he is, the former UFC interim lightweight champion, Tony Ferguson. And here's a guy who a lot of these fellow lightweights believe represents the toughest matchup for them. Just hard to know what's coming. Truly a five-tool player, and he will look to put all those skills to good use yet again here tonight. I mean, you point to the Josh Thompson fight, and the beautiful elbow that he landed to split him open, and it shows you the diversity of Tony Ferguson. And you have to remember, he was a national champion at Grand Valley State University. Right. So if he needs to, he can be a guy that has the ability to take you down and just brutalize you on the ground. Not only brutalize you, but he has a great ability to submit his opponents as he showed when he won the title fight in Kevin Lee. And he is most happy when he's in a fight, right? Certainly a guy who loves to train as is well documented. Just the way he attacked the knee injury rehabilitation just shows you his true colors. And I know I speak for the MMA fans around the world. Very happy to see El Kukui back in the octagon here tonight. Well, if you're just getting into fighting and you're looking for a fighter to support, you can do worse than Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Really a guy who's easy to root for and coming off some of the biggest wins of his career recently. He is starting to get everything right. For as long as Jorge Masvidal has been in this game, you always had the feeling that there was still work to be done in order to truly reach his optimal form. I feel like now he's finally getting it. And people overlook the fighter's mentality of Jorge Masvidal. We talked about Kimball Slice in the back there fighting. But Jorge Masvidal was right next to him. Right. He was back there fighting just for the sake of fighting. And he has done that in the octagon. And now he's finally putting it all together as he tries to make his way to a UFC title fight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Ferguson is one year the elder. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 14 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out for facing a submission specialist like this as a striker. You have got to avoid the canvas, I would think it all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his feet. And quickly. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're gonna find yourself tapping and really wondering why. Why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submissionist on this. Ah, it's crazy. 
Fostering up now. And now the damage is about to start. Jump right on his neck. He's got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. He should be defending right now. Oh, man, that was slick. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Tony Ferguson. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Right hand on point. Just over three minutes to go now. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. There it is. Take the shot now. Take the shot. There it is. Straight right. He misses. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. That's a big strike right there. Game break gets the tie. Now some here. uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Liver kick. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, this, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has the ability to stand in box with anyone in the UFC. And that was on full display when he beat Nate Diaz. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, that learned your headache in the morning. Massive uppercut. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. And that left hook landed on the button. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, huge block! Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ferguson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Right hand upstairs. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Nice elbow in the clinch there up top by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Oh, that's a sharp hook there by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Masvidal circling to his right now. El Kukui gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. Big head kick. Under a minute now to go on the round. Ferguson not having it, stays upright. And now Masvidal's got the tights. Let's see what he can do with it. Raise the guard and prevent any damage. Believe where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Ferguson gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. 20 seconds left. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Oh, straight right. What an end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Okay, you ready? Round two, ready? Second round underway. Big kick lands. 
Let's go, let's go. We gotta get this round now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Nice sprawl there as he stuffs another takedown. So that was a big priority coming in, and the takedown defense has absolutely held up to him. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job of understanding the threat of the takedown. He's recognized it, he's defended it before it's even gotten started. Ferguson gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, that's a big right hand there from Game Bread. Boxing fundamentals, certainly not an issue for this guy. Very tough. He's as sound as they come, right? A lot of times you see a guy that comes from a street fighting background, and they wing everything. They try to knock everyone out with a strike. Masvidal does not do that. He takes his time, finds and picks his spots. That's why he's getting the finishes that he gets now. So some fight stats for you here. 57 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge Game Bread Masvidal. And just 42% accuracy in terms of the land rate against Tony Ferguson. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right times to land those strikes. Left hand punch to the clinch. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Punch over the top. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Ferguson's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Just hard to know what's coming from Tony Ferguson. Hard to know which leg he's going to lead with. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Nice punch there. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Ferguson. Muay Thai club. Nice connection there by Tony Ferguson. You're probably glad you never had to prepare for a fighter like this in your day. I've never seen anything like that, and I'm not sure there's anyone like that going up in the weights. Tony Ferguson does not give you any idea of what you're facing. When you're in there, you're confused. He doesn't give you any type of pattern inside the octagon. Ferguson gets hit with that overhand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, oh nice. my gosh. Perfect execution on the Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook now. Let's see if he can submit his opponent. Absolutely incredible. Submission defense there. Oh, right to the mount. Under a minute to go in the round. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Ferguson. Close guard. 20 seconds left to go in round two. 15 seconds. Ferguson's got an arm. Looks like he's trying to lock up a Kimura. And now he falls back into the finishing position. Oh, and there's...
was the horn at the end of the round, so the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through it. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh! Oh! Beautiful knee. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. So 103 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. And the accuracy rate about 42% now against Tony Ferguson. Ferguson gets hit with a kick. Oh, nice straight left there. Another shot lands upstairs. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice defense there, huge block. He's back in the quiz position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Not there. Big kick lands. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. <laughs> Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Gamebrick. Left hook counter there yet again. Brilliance from Ferguson there on the feet as he lands another strike. This guy has as full a toolbox for fighting as we have in the UFC. Punch is blocked. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nice punch, man. Beautiful body kick. Masvidal's shot is blocked. We need the takedown now. Get in right on the button. Trying to go for the single leg takedown. Doesn't get it. Wow! Holy smokes! Put him to sleep. Back to the feet. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, 
Hook attempt now, blocked though by Tony Ferguson. Ooh, big shot land. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the feet. Oh, big left. Stuff to take down, no problem. Now he's got the Muay Thai drop. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Ferguson gets hit with a kick. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice punch lands over the top. Kukui gets up, but he looks dazed and confused. And now he's got the title. Oh, 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 wow, you don't see that every day. Beautiful Imanori roll. Right into a heel hook attempt now. Oh, oh we're getting a finish here. Tonight. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Now connects with a right. All right, feet on the hips here. And he's back up. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to bring the legs all the way up on the shoulders and just control you. Because to me personally, and I'm no jujitsu expert, to me personally, it feels like this is a position to really just slow everything down. Are there submissions? Yes. But the ideal thing in this position is to slow you down from damaging and really just make you feel more in danger than you really are. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Tony Ferguson. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. And he's... Oh, big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, 
Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Tony Ferguson. <laughs> Under a minute now to go in the round. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, big knee! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. Right. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round. DC will show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? DC, breathe. Deep breath. Into your nose. Slow that heart rate down. The game plan is perfect. You're doing great. That round was ours. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? It is the fifth and final round. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. Oh! Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Tony Ferguson. Relentless pressure from the top by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Close guard. Thought he's gonna attack a triangle choke here. Oh, nice. And this might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Back to his feet. Can't take many of those, you better check. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice hit, oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. The ground and pound has been there all night. Two minutes now to go in the fight.
outstanding pressure from top position here by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Game bread gets back up again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big leg kick lands. Huge block there. Effective punch there by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Under a minute now to go in the fight. Masvidal's his strike attempt there is blocked. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork. Got the single Use collar tie. Use your and they separate. Wow! Oh, Unbelievable. He's, He's hurt bad. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 23 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jorge Gabriel Masvidal. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.